I welcome everyone, both old and new subscribers back to Imi's Corner. Thank you so much for watching my videos. In this episode, we'll be looking at some warning signs that you shouldn't eat food from someone or a restaurant. We know that food is very important to the body and we need food to survive. There are some food we should accept and there are some food that we should reject because the heart of men is desperately wicked. For the sake of your health, destiny, marriage and your life, when you see these warning signs, please don't eat food from that person or a restaurant. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more life-changing videos. I hope your parents will like me. I'm so scared. Why are you so afraid? I'm the one marrying you and not my parents. I'm doing the right thing by introducing you. They have no choice but to accept you. Haven't you heard all the stories about father-in-laws and mother-in-laws? If they don't like their son's wife, it's always a problem. I'll not like to marry into such family. Don't worry. They'll love and adore you. Dad, any problem? We don't like her. Your mom doesn't like her, I don't like her. Remember Mr. Wellington's daughter? That's who we like for you. I've already met with her family and we have assured them that you will marry her. Dad. Why now? I didn't ask you to talk to anyone on my behalf. Anyways, Melissa is the one I love and I'm going to marry her. No. You can't marry that Melissa or whatever her name is. She doesn't look fruitful. I can tell that she won't bear any child. I reject it in Jesus' name. That's a lie. Gina is fruitful. My marriage shall be fruitful. All right. We shall see. Do you know that I own a restaurant? It's the happening place in this town. Everyone likes my food. They queue up to even have a plate. Wow. Charles told me about your restaurant, but I didn't know that it's so big like that. Now that you know. I need my son to marry the daughter of my biggest customer. He is rich in his connections. I want my son to have connections that will take him far in life. I want him to build a lifetime legacy. But, Charles loves me. And so? Leave my son alone. Mum, can you stop? Melissa, let's go. Why? Won't you eat? I made a special delicacy for you. I'll eat when next I come. My son refused to listen to his parent. He disobeyed us and still went ahead to marry that girl. No problem. Good day, Ma. Afternoon. Just look at you. You've been glowing since you got married. Where is my son? He didn't come with you? No, Ma. He's giving us some alone time to bond. That's right. Sit down while I serve you food. Thank you, Mom. I told you that, you'll like my food. It's really yummy. Mom, I want to use the restroom, I'll be back to finish up the food. If you're eating with a visitor or friend, and you leave your food or drink, maybe to go and pick up something or use the restroom. Please, it's advisable not to eat that food again, unless it's someone you really trust. So many people's food have been poisoned at this moment. Be wise. She's not yet out. Let me put this charm in her food. She must never get pregnant in this marriage, and my son must hate her and regret getting married to someone like her. Finish up your food. You seem to have appetite. I'm filled, but I'll finish the food, so that I don't waste my mother-in-law's food. That's right. Finish the food. Do not eat the food. Do not eat the food. Do not eat the food. I'm so full. I shouldn't eat again. Why? Try and finish the food. Overfeeding is not good for me. I know what my body can take. If you say so. Sign one, when your spirit man tells you not to eat the food. It's always good to listen to the Holy Spirit, and it's always good to pray before eating. If someone gives you food, 
and you suddenly feel restless or disturbed, or the Holy Spirit sends you signals not to eat that food, then you shouldn't eat it, so that you'll not regret it. Don't force yourself to eat that food or eat from a particular restaurant. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Madam, the test result is out. It isn't malaria as you suspected. You're four weeks pregnant. Doctor, what did you say? Congratulations. You're four weeks pregnant. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome back, honey. How was your day? How are you feeling now? I'm fine. So what did the doctor say? I am four weeks pregnant. Wow. This is good news. I knew it. I told my parents that my marriage will be fruitful. I'm so happy. Let me call my dad. Don't you think we shouldn't share the news yet? Until I start showing. Even with our parents? I think they'll be so angry when they find out later. It doesn't matter. I'll also not tell mine. I just want them to know that they were wrong. It's getting late. You should pack up, let's go. I'm doing just that. Who was the person that called you? Your son. He said that they're expecting a child. Melissa is pregnant? No, no, no. That sneaky girl that forced my son to marry her is pregnant? It can't be. Well, it has happened. You know your mother-in-law is a very good cook. I brought you a lot of cooked food. You should eat. Thank you, mom. Open your mouth. Ha, huh, yes, swallow it. Good girl. Eat till you're filled. Why was my mother-in-law feeding me in the dream? And I was eating so well. Welcome, Mom. You didn't even tell us that you were coming. Why? This is my son's house and I can come here at any time. That's not what I meant. I would have come to the park to welcome you. That's not necessary. I heard you're pregnant, so I brought homemade food for you. To think that I saw you in my dream last night giving me food and you brought me food today. You must have been thinking a lot about my food. You should go in and eat. I heard that you're pregnant. Don't worry, it's normal. That's right. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Sign 2, when you find yourself eating in the dream, and the next day, somebody gives you that same food to eat. It is advisable not to eat that food for the sake of your destiny or the good thing God is about to do in your life. Testimony attackers are everywhere and not everyone will be happy for you. That dream is a revelation or warning, so you must be careful. So many people have been contaminated through food, so many destinies have been hijacked and terminated through food, so many testimonies have been cut short through food. You must not ignore your dream, because God is revealing something to you. Thank you so much for the food, I'll make sure to finish everything. You should finish the food before Charles comes back from work. The food was made specially for you. Thank you, Mom. You're the best. Why is my tummy suddenly paining me? Somebody help. Please help. Melissa, what is it? My stomach. Mom, please help. I should call Charles. Doctor. How is my wife? I'm so sorry, Mr. Charles. She miscarried the baby. It is well. Please, stay strong for your wife. I'm so sorry, Melissa. God will restore what you've lost and give you in double fold. Amen. Please, is there any medication I can take for stomach pains? I'm pregnant, by the way. You should go to the hospital and see your doctor first. All right. Your pulse is okay and the baby is fine, but I don't know why you're having pains. I'll place you on bed rest. Yes, doctor. 
I'll inform my husband that I'm in the hospital. What happened again? Remember, the other time, it was still the stomach pains. I'm really confused. I've been resting all day, except when your mom came around. But she didn't tell me. That's because she didn't plan to stay. She brought my favorite food for me, since I've been craving it. As soon as I heard what happened, I called Pastor immediately and he's here to pray for you. Tell him to come in. Madam, how are you? I'm not fine. I feel weak and I'm afraid that I'll lose my baby again. There shall be no loss. Don't be afraid because thoughts what the enemy wants. His plan is for you to live in fear. If you believe in the God you're serving, your faith in God will lift you high above every challenge. It is very important that you keep that faith alive and active. God is a very present help in times of trouble. He is ever present and ever ready to move into action if you call on Him. He is never late. He is always right on time. That's right. Jesus, I call on you today. Come and help me for you are my present help in trouble. Keep me and my baby under the shadow of your wings. There shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. I am no longer moved. I refuse to fear. I refuse to be worried. God is my shield and refuge. No evil shall befall me and my baby. Father, thank you for your faithfulness upon this family. Thank you for according to your word in Psalm 46 verse 1, you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear. Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. Jehovah, send help to your daughter. I cancel every loss. For it is written in Acts 27 verse 22, And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. You will not die, your baby will not die. There shall be no loss. According to the word of the Lord in Job 1 verse 10, May the Lord make an hedge about you and your family, and all that you have. Father, render her enemies helpless. Secure them from every of their plots and antics. Any evil personality assigned to harm this woman and her baby with food, be destroyed by the consuming fire of God. I paralyze every evil food projected to trouble their destiny. Anyone using food to terminate the blessings of God in your life, I command their evil plot to fail in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree and declare that throughout the duration of this pregnancy and even at the point of delivery, my faith shall be intact, and this baby in your womb shall be safe, sound and secured. You shall come out of the delivery room alive and well. May the Lord give his angels charge over you and expose every trap of the enemy against you. Thank you Father for answered prayers. Thank you for you'll be more than we've asked in Jesus' name. Amen. God opened my eyes to see something. Anytime you're pregnant, there's someone that normally gives you food. From today, I advise you not to eat from that person till you deliver. Be very careful of who you're eating from. Yes, Pastor. Thank you so much for coming. All glory be to God. Please don't eat people's food when you notice any of these signs. If you feel scared or frightened about the food you reserved, the Holy Spirit is sending signals to you not to eat the food, please don't force yourself to eat. Listen to the Holy Spirit, God cannot lie. There is this young man that traveled to the village last December, he was so excited and went out with his friends. He bought drinks for everyone and they were celebrating. This was on the 31st. Suddenly, he started screaming that he was having stomach ache, they rushed him to the hospital, but he was already vomiting blood. He gave up on their way to the hospital. He was poisoned while drinking and celebrating with friends, he didn't see the new year. Please, let's be careful. Always pray for the food that you served. Be mindful of where you're eating from. Some people's business are rooted in witchcraft. They use various means to get customers. This is why it is important to pray over what you're eating and drinking. 
The word of God in Mark 16 verse 18 says, They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Please, remember to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share this video, turn on the notification bell and subscribe. I declare the word of God in Mark 16 verse 18 over your life. You'll not be hurt and no evil shall befall you in Jesus' name, Amen.